and you find really good guns in your chest and you want to keep them so you'll want to put them in your own chest so this is what I've made you put a gun in the chest and then you can get it out of the chest This chest doesn't work for some guns, like the ch kit's charge shotgun. I'm not sure if it's for all charge shotguns, but this one here won't go into the buttons here. And that's pretty much the only exception. So, what do you need to make it? All you need is an item spawner, a conditional button, a trigger, a teleporter, and a normal button. You will also need stuff to make your chest, but that isn't necessary. So, how do you make it? First, you place a conditional button, set this one when activated transmit on to channel 1, and put disable on receiving on to channel 1, and then put enable on receiving on from to channel 11, then copy it and paste it and put it to 12 and put these all up by one and then do this the amount of times you want your chest to have gun slots I'll just do about four if you're going to have more guns than 10 then make sure that this value here is higher than 10 then Place your item spawner behind it and set time before first spawn to instant and time between spawns to instant and set this one here to that value you put. And set disable when receiving from to the same channel as when item picked up transmit from. Then go here and change this by one again and keep on doing this for all of your item spawners now then for the loot find four items you want to put in it so just make it different items so I've got these four guns and make sure you remember what they are so maybe just put it into a chest or something you just need to remember and then put them into this and make sure they go in if they don't go into the right one it's not the end of the world okay so now I've fixed that grab your item spawners and move them away from the spawner maybe do a pattern like this so that they don't go into the wrong one and then make sure to look at this here and put the right gun in if you do do an infinity style thing like this make sure to have a different floor while you're making it so that you don't so that you know where the end of the infinity room is otherwise it'll be very hard to place stuff now place your item spawners inside this room any order it doesn't matter just they all need to be inside of here then place down a teleporter set these to none, none. And then you can do whatever you want with these so it doesn't really matter. But then find a channel you aren't using in your channel browser. For me, that would be channel 5. And then set teleport to and see from channel 5. Or whatever channel you're using. Then you will want to place a button right here. Make it big enough to be seen. And then set this to whatever you want this will be a button to go back 
and set this one to another channel which isn't being used. For me this is 6. This is also a good time if you made a, in the infinity room to change the floor to black if you did that. Then copy the button under teleporter and take them um, here. Set the teleporter to channel 6 and put it in front of the chest or wherever you want to teleport back to. Then change this one to interact text to whatever you want it to be. For me this will be open chest. And set this one to the channel that you put your previous, your first teleporter on. And set that to how long you want it to be to enter the chest. Same with this one on how long you want it to be to exit the chest. Then put this around here and then move these to your chest and then place them in front of your chest in a place that works for you, it doesn't really matter this won't affect your game much it might may not look as good. Now place a team settings and inventory. It can be anywhere on your island. Find the weapons you are using and put them in the team settings and inventory. Go to my island and game and set it to either spawn pad or current location then if it's current location stand here and if it's spawn pads place a spawn pad by your chest then start your game make sure that you open the chest first so that there are no guns inside if there are no guns inside, you have done this properly. Go back to your chest. Now, find a gun and put it into one of these. Open the chest and you should find a gun here. If you want to change the design so that it will only happen for each individual person and it will save between games, place down a switch and you've got to do this for each individual gun. Change turn on when receiving from a certain channel. And if on, transmit on a new channel. I will use channel 20. Then go into here, find a gun, and put enable when receiving from that channel and disable when receiving from that channel then go back to the switch and set this to turn off when receiving from the channel that this gun here says when item picked up to transmit on And then this should save between games and only happen for one person as long as you have a supporter creator code. But will And then once you've done this, it will only happen for one person and it will save between games if you have a supporter creator code. Or you have. This will only save between games if you have a supporter creator code though, unless you end the game and restart it. And that is how you make a working chest in Fortnite Creative.